Hello, everyone. Thank you for having me. Uh, first of all, Crystal was amazing. That was a great talk, kind of hard to follow up on that, and she was dressed good, so I kind of tucked in my shirt, so I'm trying to be just like her. Um, but with Bob's Repair, what we're going to do is we're going to leverage blockchain to solve the issue of review fraud. My brother and I uh, started a business um, in 2014 based in Las Vegas, Nevada, where we uh, connected the skilled trade worker, companies, independent contractors, to the consumers. And since then, we've serviced 55,000 consumers. It was 50,000, but you know, we're still running a real business. And I personally used to answer all these calls from contractors, thousands of uh, c consumers, customers, and we found out the issue that there's not really a place where you can go to with real reviews. A lot of these reviews are paid, like you can go on Google. My buddy just started a company, he just paid for 50 five-star reviews. You don't know if it's true, nothing's tied to the transaction. Um, home advisor, if you complain, they'll take down the review. Um, so there's a big issue on that. Um, so with our original business, what we did is we, we created the Skilled Trade uh, Worker platform and we used Twilio, SMS API, FreshBooks, Capsule, and everything is automated and, and our plumber, he gets, he gets a text message and he can do everything from SMS. So it's all coded, you know, you can write W. I used to play a lot of video games. I used to play Diablo 2, so all the commands that we use for our company is from a video game. So if you want to whisper, you just write W. If you want to reply, talk to the consumer. So everything is uh, integrated. Um, this is our current platform that we have that we're using on a daily basis. And we're getting under you know, 200 calls. Um, and our current model is where, where we charge the independent contractor per, per weekly basis. But with our new model, um, but before I talk about our new model, you know, the three issues that we're facing is review fraud advertising fees, pricing transparency. Review fraud, I already spoke about it a little bit. Advertising fees, Home Advisor, Google AdWords. Uh, Home Advisor is charging three guys for the same lead. They're fighting for the consumer. Then those three fees, which is 10 to you know, $100, depending what you're fixing, gets pinned on the consumer, and all of a sudden, like a simple toilet install costs you a couple hundred dollars, when in reality, it should be cheap. You know what I mean? So we're, we're trying to slash all that. Uh, pricing transparency, imagine a marketplace where when the review is done, they list how much the toilet costs, the actual toilet, how much the labor costs, how long it took. So then the consumer can go on bobsrepair.com, they can put in their zip code or if they're in a country or province, and they can see thousands of toilet installs and they can be like, oh wow, I should actually pay this amount and not where, you know, when, when my AC unit broke, a guy came in and said, hey, he was going to cost you $5,000, this unit is broken. And then I had Niku, which he still works with me, and he's a great guy. And he came in, he's like, hey, Frederick, you um, didn't know me back then. He's like, your air filter's <laughs> dirty. $50 later, he replaces the air filter, you know, cold air is blowing. And then I went to Google, I looked at this guy. He was supposed to be great, but he turned out to be a little bit of a fraud. So that's how we started our business. Um, talked about the solutions. Uh, we are going to be creating an MVP. A lot of people are asking us, we are a security token. Um, so this is, this is just a mock-up, so we're hoping to release in the next week or two an MVP of, of how we're going to build our product. We are going to be using the Steam blockchain, uh, three-second block times, no transaction fees. There are not a lot of real blockchains out there that you could use, so we're going to build our Bob uh, ecosystem application on top of it. And uh, this is where we are right now. Um, everything I'm doing is organic. I'm actually, it's 8.5 8 million uh, impressions on Twitter. Um, I, I resonate very well with the community. I actually just jumped out of an airplane. I did an airdrop. I gave away free tokens. And as I'm flying down and don't jump out of airplanes, my heart hurt for like a week. So it was, I guess I was just too nervous. I'm scared of heights. But uh, so that was cool. We got around, I think we're around 450,000 views right now. And I, you know, our Telegram channel has uh, 7,500 members. Majority of the money that we've raised um, is, is small amounts. You know, my minimum, a lot of ICOs do 30 Ether, or I guess now Ether is a little higher, but like I see ICOs doing 10 Ether. You know, you can invest $7 in our ICO and participate. There's no reason for you not to be able to invest and be a part of something great. And a lot of my clients, yeah. Thank you. So, you know, we have a big community. They're asking all these questions. You know, I personally try to answer all these questions. And I'm, if you're watching, I'm really sorry. The last two days I've been really busy. So I think I have like 100 emails over and all these questions. I will get back to you. And I, it's very important. You guys are very important because without you guys, this wouldn't be possible. And in the beginning, not a lot of people believed in us. And now we have all these VCs talking to us. But it's now, um, I'll talk about how much we raised. But this is our team. Um, and my brother and I started this. We call ourselves the Crazy Prendecki Brothers. Um, and now we have a new CTO. Uh, I moved our CTO to CIO. Uh, Brandon Kite came from, uh, he was the lead developer at uh, 
Dragon Chain, and prior to that, he was the senior engineer at the Walt Disney Company. He's bringing us a lot of value. Uh, we created our own token sale platform. So for you guys who are new in the space, everything is a fraud. If you want an ICO review, anything you want, just pay for it and you get a 10 out of 10 stars. So I haven't paid for any ICO reviews yet. The only thing is ICO Ranker gave me a nine and a nine out of 10, and that was free. Um, but so um, Todd is from Microsoft. Um, I have my two Russians, they're, they're brilliant, uh, Alain. So we have a very, very good team. Um, our advisors, I, uh, I think one of the smartest people I've ever met, and no offense to my other advisors, and he's actually in the room, is Steven. He's right there. This gentleman had an IPO. He's very smart. Every time I talk to him, he just blows my mind. He's the, he's the CEO of Rivets. But let's give him a hand. He'll be talking a little later. This guy. You know, Andrew Filipowski, he's well known. And then, you know, John McAvee, some people say he's controversial. He's a good friend of mine. I think every, you know, I was just over at his house a couple days ago. And, you know, he, he provides me a lot of insight and, and, and value. Um, we've currently raised uh, 4,343 Ether. Um, 3,400 is from the community. The rest is from one ben uh, big venture capitalist firm here in Las Vegas. He's a good friend of mine and he believed in us. Um, our goal, initial goal is to raise 30,000 Ether, but Ether went up. Um, so we're going to be changing that soon. Uh, we haven't announced it yet to the community. We're currently in pre-sale, which gives you about a 20% bonus if you invest in us today. Um, and we want to raise 6,000 for a pre-sale and then we're going to have a month off. We're going to start up again in March. We're not sure how much longer, how long our main sale is going to take. You can talk to Steven. He's going to tell me most likely because he's a smart man. Um, but if you have any questions, you know, we're Bob's Repair. Why Bob? We tried Jim. We tried John. I used to go to nightclubs and, you know, and I don't really drink much. And I'll be like, hey, Jim's Repair. And then I'll say, hey, Bob's Repair. And then I'll come back. And if they didn't remember it, I was like, okay, that's a terrible name. And also we did a lot of A-B testing is, you know, who's going to call Bob's Repair? Who's going to call Jim's Repair? And we had like over 100 names. And, and our old business, like we don't, we don't have a website on our old business. Everything is on the back end. You know, we have an ad. The consumer calls us. It connects to the independent contractor. It's very simple. So if anyone have any, any questions about Bob's Repair, you know, let me know. And uh, love to talk to you. We have a booth out there. And uh, thanks again, guys.